When considering the treat to use for enticement, wet treats are preferred to dry. And there are a number of delivery methods that we can use. One is a lick mat with shallow grooves for slow lickers, a lick mat with deep grooves for fast lickers. If you're unable to get a lick mat, you can use just the lid of the baby food jar, or you can use a squeezable treat. Now I have a lot of variety out here because every cat likes different food. So you may have to try different flavors of baby food. I like to use the Gerber baby food because it's nice and thick. So chicken or turkey, not the beef because they add lemon juice in theirs. Or beech nut, chicken, turkey, or their beef would be okay. This is a little watery, so you may want to add something thicker to it. Or if you're using a lick mat, that's really not going to be necessary. Um, but using this on the lid or in your hand is a little more difficult than using the Gerber. But some cats may have a preference for the beech nut over the Gerber. So you really just have to play with what the cat likes. You can also do a mix and match. So if, if your cat likes fish, you could add a tuna or salmon or some sort of other lickable treat into the baby food to mix. You could also use any wet food or pate that is different than the food that they get for their meals. That's important. It can't be the same as what they have for their meals because we don't want to confuse their meals with their treat. You could also use something that's already a little more watered down, like a sort of mousse food. If they don't like the one kind of churu that you got, you can try multiple different flavors. The same with any brand of lickable treat that you get. I will say the Tiki Cat brand is a little watery and it's difficult to work with from the tube itself, but it's great to mix into your baby food. Some cats might just have a preference for the dry treats. And so again, there are a slew of options available of dry treats. How do you know what to choose? You don't, it's trial and error. I do recommend you get something small or breakable. So I have a lot of different soft treats that I can break into tiny treats or even kibble that's already very tiny that you don't have to break. Um, the greenies hairball treats can be broken in half or even into quarters and any sort of freeze dried treat is easily breakable as well. What you can also do for a cat who prefers the dry treats is to just sprinkle it right on top of the wet treats and sometimes that's enough to be enticing and then we can still utilize the lick mat.